How's it going gamers, it's RebelX here in the War Room and today we're looking at Evolve. Gameplay tips and tricks for Bucket. Bucket is the second tier support class character you unlock the moment you've mastered Hank's abilities. And Bucket, personally for me, is one of my favorite characters, so let's get into his abilities, how to best utilize them on the battlefield. So let's get into that right here, right now. Alright gamers, the moment you jump into the battlefield as Bucket, the very, very first thing you should do, instead of running off with your uh, fellow allies when you see up tracks, is immediately go into Bucket's UAV mode. Now, when he detaches his head on the UAV, you have a certain time limit at the bottom right there of the battery pack. The thing you want to do here is that you want to make sure you try to find the monster as quickly as you possibly can. You gotta try to think ahead of the monster. Where would the monster go? Where would you go if you were playing as the monster? The moment you can unlock and spot the monster, this will be a huge, huge asset to you and your teammates, but most importantly for you as well. Now, when you have to U deploy your UAV, you're going to be far behind from your teammates. So always make sure you keep a lookout for animals, other creatures that could possibly trap you. Now, the other thing too is that you want to get ahead of the monster. Bucket, for me, is a defense class type of character. His auto turrets are amazing, if you, especially if you attach the upgraded damage bonus for him. The best thing too is that because these turrets shoot bullets, if the medic on your team has devoid a lot of weak spots on the monster, those turrets will automatically hit those weak spots, creating even double, if not triple, damage. And once you get ahead of the monster and try to plant where the monster is trying to go, go invisible so no other creatures will attack you or get you. Plan your turrets along the path of where the monster might be going. Always, always make sure that you're spreading your turrets out. One thing I've noticed about a lot of people when they play as Bucket, they tend to deploy these turrets bunched up together. Don't do that. One attack from the monster, be it a melee attack or a special attack, will automatically destroy those turrets. So do not bunch your turrets up. Spread them out. Now, the other thing too is that once you've kind of cornered the monster, the monster player will then try to go crouch. This is where you detach your UAV head again. Always, always make sure you're always targeting the monster and keeping the monster located on the map. You do not want to give the monster player a break in this. The bucket is designed to spot the monster 24-7. You've got to keep up with your job. Once the monster has been cornered by the trapper, try to encircle the monster with your turrets. Try to set them up a couple on the ground and then a couple up top. When the monster player is fully cornered, they're going to panic and they're going to get hit by your turrets no matter where they go. So always plan, I would say, plant two turrets on the ground and the remaining three up on high ledges, circling the monster. Keep the monster uh, backed into a corner as best you can. Try to just continue to harass the monster. Now, Bucket's heat-seeking missiles, they do a decent amount of damage, but don't rely on them too much. As I said, Bucket's strongest strength is his turrets. Circle the monster with those turrets and you'll be able to de fully deflect this monster and kill this monster very very quickly Especially if your medic class is hitting the monster with weak spot points I recommend if you can try to combine Lazarus the medic the second tier medic with Bucket That way whoever's playing as the medic can create those weak spots and Bucket's turrets can do the double and triple damage Killing the monster very very quickly So always remember circle the monster only engage the monster if you absolutely have to, but keep Bucket at a distance and always use your invisibility both to cover your teammates when they're down and to cover yourself when you're running off to try to catch up with your teammates and plan traps ahead of the monster. Alright gamers, that's all the time we have for today here in the War Room. Hope our gameplay tips and tricks on Bucket assist you. Feel free to check out our other gameplay tips and tricks vids along with our review of Evolve and our playlist. Until then, feel free to like, share, and subscribe to the War Room, and we'll see you guys next time here in the War Room. Come on.